How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man back here with another car mechanic simulator video and in today's video guys We're gonna be hopping back in here with this street rod right here. This is a I think it's like a 1987 83 82 so around there some just say 87 f-250 uh, street rod so it originally had a v8 um, double carb yeah, double carb supercharger motor in there. Um, and we're switching it out for a twin turboed V12 um, single overhead cam right here. This is what we already got built. If you haven't seen the last video, go check that out. That is the build of this motor. It's a pretty fun one to do, actually, because you got twin turbos on the sides, intercooler piping linking back up to the top, and you got 12 cylinders. So that's quite a bit, six on each side. Um, but in today's video, we are going to get the body ready to accept this. Uh, we're going to be getting the suspension, everything done, and we should be able to test it by the end of the video. Um, so let's just uh, just get underway. Let me see. I'll get this battery charging while we do some welding. Okay. And boom. Oh. It's a pretty interesting color, actually. Let me pop this hood off. Take off any parts here that are appearing to be rusty i think that's that it so we don't have a back no front window okay looks like the body's pretty bare now um all right we'll pair all those really quick see what we saved didn't save that door we did save the vent save the led light and the front end yes okay so there is that. What is that front? Hmm. Got a super interesting little decal on the front. You'll have to check that out in a minute. But looks like we are ready um, to transfer the motor in. So let me take that motor. Woohoo. Settings super high for some reason. And after A. And let's put the motor in. V12 single overhead cam, twin turbo. So now the real question is, how does this fit? Oh, so this right here, if you can see that back intercooler piping has got a real tight fit, but it does fit in fact, actually. Let me see here. All right, so that radiator goes in, no problem. What the brake servo? Okay, brake servo clips through that, but that's, that's okay. Go grab the battery really quick. Should be charged by now. And can I add the battery from here? I can. Sweet. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I'm going to rip off all these rims. And these are just some basic rims. So I'm just probably going to take the measurements of them and then just apply those to a new set. Looks like we do have different widths from the front to the back. So I think about throwing, we're throwing some race slicks on this with some nicer, newer, lighter tires. So let's see how whoa, how different are these. Okay. Oh, okay. That's uh. Yeah, that's quite a bit. So we got three hundred fives by sixty by sixteen. All right, let me write this down. So we got ah, there we go, three hundred five, and you got two fifty fives, and they are by sixty sixteens. Okay. So the wider ones are in the back, smaller ones are in the front, should be good. Let's go to the rim shop. Uh, look for something nice. The SRT wheels are pretty good. Mercedes look nice. Okay, let's just go with some retros you know what? let's just do some i'll just do some random retros i'll do these ones do four at 16. go to the tire shop find our slicks so we need two at 16 by 305 by 60 profile okay and we're gonna buy two more at 255 60 profile also okay all right 
Yep, now these should work. All right, I'm going to mount and balance these, and I'll be back with you guys when that's ready. All right, so we are on the last tire here, spinning up and balancing. Um, so now while we wait for that one, I do... Actually, no, we won't do that yet. I was going to say let's put on these tires, but I still need to work on the suspension here. Let me get this hiked up. Uh, we need to figure out what type of gearbox we're going to be running on this V12 here. This looks like we're running a V12B. Okay, let's go grab one of them then. So I'm going to grab the B. Yeah, I think this one's supposed to be a front wheel and all wheel drive. Or it's supposed to be an all wheel drive, yeah. It's supposed to be an all wheel drive. Alright, so there is that. So then this is pretty much done. All I gotta do is connect up a few of the drive shafts and we should be able to technically drive it. But um, what I'm gonna do is finish taking off the rest of the suspension. I'm gonna fix that all out, fix what I can, and put it all back together. So I'm gonna do a quick time lapse of me doing that here, guys. So I will see you guys in a couple of minutes. Okay, guys, I got most of the stuff bought, and it is now time to toss it all in. I already got the first things in just to make sure we were doing good. So, I think, like I said, I think I got everything. Oh, wait. It looks like I'm out of rubber bushings. All right, we'll get all 20 of these. I'm actually super excited to see how fast this thing is. I really, I don't think it'll be faster than the old C10 Chevy I had, but... I do think it will give the Chevy a run for its money. The Chevy did run um, somewhere in the... I don't remember how fast it was. It was stupid fast, if I remember correctly. It was 1,500 horsepower, so it was pushing like 13 second uh, runs, which is really, really, really fast at the time. I mean, it's still crazy fast right now, don't be wrong. There's all these. This front newer suspension is so convenient to put on. And this one doesn't have any uh, lower suspension pieces, so works like a charm. All right, let's get the hub piece. Two of those. All right, we can slap on one of the new rims. It's the 255s, yep. Give a good zoom out. What does this look like? Yeah, you know, that's not too bad. I can live with that. Why did that put on the bad one? Steering knuckle C. There we go. Just clicking on whatever is available right now to put on. Front wheel hub is bad. Okay, so we need a front wheel hub. I think we need a new, yeah, okay. So, grab the front wheel hub real quick. I'll put this on. Still need to do that double wishbone shock absorber. I have all the parts for it. I just wasn't sure if I needed one because I did make a double set um, or duplicate set earlier accidentally. Caliper, that, okay. Okay. Upper suspension arm, all right. Two, three. All right, now really quick before I can finish that, let me get one of these spring pullers put together. All right, while I wait for that to go, start working on the rear end here. I think I have most of the parts for this one too. 
I have almost all of them. I thought I bought shocks. Oh, I shot. I bought. I probably bought the front shocks, didn't I? Oh, I did. We're bees. There it is. Spring cap. All right, that's pretty easy. These uh, these setups alone, they do use up quite a few rubber bushings. Okay, solid control X alarm. Put this little side together really quick. Thankfully, this one isn't drum either, so should be pretty easy. I think we might be missing the last two calipers, though. Well, there's the caliper. We just won't have the cylinder, the piston for it. Uh, there we go. Get of our U-bolts screwed in, and then this side of the suspension is officially done. All right, let's get some wide tires on here, some 305s. It's not that wide, but for the current application, oh yeah, should be good enough. five and there we go that is done really quick before I do go back to the front right I'm gonna get this drive shaft screwed into place it's a little janky it goes through some stuff but you know it's all right it's a mod I'm not expecting it to be perfect like I've said a couple of times they have flaws sometimes all right now we get this last rim on Alrighty, and there we go. The suspension is fully running. I think the motor should be able to run. It should be good to go. Um, but first, what I'm going to do, I don't think I've done this yet. There even is a spot to do it at. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's pour some oil in there. All right, so I think this should be able to run now. I think if I move it over to entrance A, we might be able to start it. No doors on it, no nothing. Let's see if it starts. Oh, okay, yep, yep, yep. It starts, it starts. It's pretty good. So now what we need to do is figure out what it needs. Okay. Let's look at the Ford 250, the pace, and we have the black right now. So we're going to get the race doors. We need the right. We'll get the black one here. Uh, we have one of those already. Grab this. Cut out step side stock. We'll do this. And that one and then for our trunk we'll do the black one all right now let's go get all tainted or not tainted tinted windows filled in window we don't need that window back we'll just get the regular one don't need running lights all right i think this oh we don't have the bumper okay so what bumper do we want then is the question. Those are the rear bumpers. Rear bumper. Front bumper. Okay. I think we'll do the black one to match our front black 
face here. Yeah, that works pretty good. That race door. Uh-oh. Let me, I'm trying to remove this. So we need a left side mirror. Got the cutout clamshell. We did that to reduce weight. Although I probably am going to change it. I didn't realize the cutout was so <laughs> wide there. Um, step side cutout, cutout stock, step side hardcover. Hardcover is what we'll try. Yeah, there we go. Let's drag on it. Gonna do all the darker tail lights. I think we're gonna see what this this paint scheme looks like. Also, this orange paint scheme, I kind of like it. Okay, so. 89 body condition what am i missing license plates hood license plates and hood really was the hood actually in bad shape now hoods 100 percent. what was that saying then what were we missing on this It's just front license plates and the seat. Okay. Go to the plate. Let me grab myself two Iowa plates. One. Two. And then the interior here, we'll get these out real quick. I'll just swap them out with some brand new ones. This is the seat three level leather D's. We'll grab a racing wheel also while we're here. So three leather D. Two of those. Let's grab ourselves a racing wheel. Um, I like this one. I like the uh, the wood grain on them. Alrighty, so now this should be, oh wait, the interior condition never got done, did it? That's the issue I'm having. Uh, shop entrance A, need to give this, this guy a good wipe down. Alright, sweet, so now it's worth 62000 Move this to the paint shop. We'll give it a nice uh, once over on some paint. Put that behind me. Okay, so what's the livery we got here? Okay, whatever this is supposed to be is weird. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna run that actually. But I'm thinking a hot green one. Let's see what this looks like painted. You know, with the black interior and the black and silver rims, that is, that's not too bad actually. Let's throw, it, let's throw it on the dyno really quick, see how she does on the dyno. And run it. 804 factory. All right, I'm expecting 1200. 1200 minimum, guys. Oh, there's the good power band. Ooh, wee! That actually puts the C10 in a pretty close race. 820 or 1400 foot pounds of torque and horsepower. That is, uh, a pretty beefy pretty beefy girl here all right let's um close both these and let's run this here actually on the speed track let's see how it does i'm expecting it to do well i'm expecting it to do very well actually 
Right, we're waiting on it. Okay. Oh, the interior looks so good. Oh, I forgot the interior matches a lot of the exterior paint. Okay. Yeah, this is... Oh, this is so cool, actually. Okay, here we go. It's got a performance gearbox and slicks on it. Oh, yeah, look at that. It could probably be geared a little bit higher, actually. So we're not maxing out uh, or hitting red lines so much. 200 miles an hour already. Oh, wow. We maxed out our seven speed gearbox. And it actually stops. Wow, this is one of the best Roadrunners I've had. So that was a 14 second, 200 mile. That's incredibly fast, guys. That is insane. The zero to 100, almost six seconds. A little bit less than six seconds, actually. Zero to 60 in 3.3. Um, I don't know about you guys, but that is actually really 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 fast um but there we go guys hopefully you enjoyed that episode there um it was that's that i have to definitely go back and check the chevy or chevy why did i say chevy chevy c10 um i know it was that i think it was at 1511 horsepower so this is around 100 horsepower less but it might have pushed the same numbers actually because it is very 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 fast and it runs a very very straight line um super impressive i must say look that you can access everything from right here um but there you go guys hopefully you enjoyed if you did leave a like and a comment down below i would love to see what you guys got to say if you guys haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button we're almost at 100k and i'm getting getting pretty excited to be doing the uh, the 100k uh stream special i'm trying to think of some stuff we can do but um it should be pretty fun but thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next car mechanic simulator video